Hello, my name is Dr. Kyle Straub, and I'm an associate faculty member here at the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences at Tulane University. Currently, right now, we're standing in the university's sediment dynamics and stratigraphy lab, where we study a lot of questions associated with the generation of the stratigraphic record. The research group that we have here um, consists of about five graduate students, three PhD students, and, and two master's students. Generally, we have an undergrad or two who help out um, uh, in the lab. We also have a postdoctoral fellow who's working in our group and a lab technician who helps run a lot of the experiments and keep this facility operational. So the stratigraphic record, for those of you who might not uh, be familiar with it, is essentially these layers of sedimentary rock that you might see exposed in locations like the Grand Canyon um, or in road outcrops that you might drive by um, out on the road. It's also the layering of sediments that is beneath us here on the Mississippi River Delta. Now the stratigraphic record can help us solve a number of um, different problems in a vast array of different areas. Some of those problems that we study here in, in this lab is how sand gets moved around on river deltas and where it gets deposited because these sand deposits uh, can end up becoming uh, reservoirs for hydrocarbons that energy companies might like to extract. In addition to that, we're interested in the stratigraphic record because it contains within it information associated with how environments like deltas that um, we live on here have responded to past climatic changes, past changes in sea level or past changes in water and sediment um, uh, that's moving through the river deltas. So this record can help inform us essentially about how to make predictions on how the river delta is going to respond to future changes. So we study all the problems here in this lab by doing reduced scale laboratory experiments. Rather than study environments like the Mississippi Delta that might be hundreds of kilometers across um, and difficult to monitor, here what we do is we study essentially small river deltas that we generate in a very controlled environment that might only be a couple of meters across. But since they're small, we can comprehensively monitor them and also we can control um, variables such as how sea level is changing or the amount of water and sediment supply coming into the delta very accurately. And we do all of this again so that we can get this quantitative data from these laboratory experiments, use that to help de um, develop quantitative theory that can then be used to develop numerical models that either my group um, uh, generates or we generate with colleagues uh, at Tulane or in other universities all aiming towards, again, um, developing a better understanding or better tools to predict where hydrocarbons might be located in locations like the Gulf Coast, or also how locations like the Gulf Coast here are going to respond out in the future to uh, possible climate change um, events in the next hundred years, or maybe going out even farther than that into the future. <laughs> ¶¶